This is a 1957 Studebaker Champion four-door sedan. And now it resembles uh, the 56 model uh, somewhat. It's a slight restyle. It has a wraparound windshield which was absolutely required at the time. In 58 they modify it further to uh, add four headlamps on the front using a fiberglass pod to do that. Now this actually uh, has some stainless on it, uh, some chrome, but um, there was a model called the Scotsman that was at a uh, at a base level. And this was one step above that. And this has a nice interior but uh, it's very plain and you'll notice something unusual here. Uh, this is an auction car so I could get in and examine it. Notice the uh, drum-like uh, speedometer with the magnifier so you could see how fast you were going. And uh, the gauges uh, are are very obvious. I think uh, that's a, a um, going back to the history of Studebaker, they, they were big on gauges and toggle switches. So there's the handbrake. It has overdrive. That's that uh, little T handle right there. So it's a three speed manual with overdrive. Now the car uh, has uh, rubber mats, so again, uh, they're getting pretty desperate at this point. Studebaker was in serious economic trouble, even after the, the uh, merger with Packard, and they needed to produce cars that would sell in volume, so that's why they were cutting cars down to the bare bone as far as uh, luxury items and accommodations. Now this one at least has two-tone upholstery and looks fairly presentable but you can tell it's pretty bare bones and as I say the Scotsman was at a lower level than that and I remember the Scotsman from that time and I remember seeing very few of them on the road. It was almost as though that would be an embarrassment to have one of those because it was so bare bones. wraparound back window as had been their style for a long time. Now I can open up that uh, front door on this side. So get a view here. And notice there's no radio and no clock on this car and as I say it's a rubber mat. No carpeting. Alright now this video is actually uh, right here we have the details. A six cylinder engine and and fortunately, because it's an auction car, I was able to open the hood. So you're going to see what's under there in a minute. Okay, here we are. This is their flathead six-cylinder engine. They're still doing flathead six-cylinders in uh, at this late date. There we are. and it has uh, a paper air uh, filter air cleaner and that's about it nothing fancy